Hello again. TC Films. TC Films is filming right now. I'm going to setting up a little test here, audio test, with my Martin uh, GPC PA4 and an R, uh, EVRE20 microphone into my PreSonus Studio 68C interface and I'm going to going into Logic Pro and I'm going to see what the preamp will be when I switch it over to my SSL2 audio interface. Uh, right now on um, on the pre on the uh, presonus um having bending over right now talking into the microphone and it's i don't know how it sounds i haven't got my headphones on but it's going to be for my acoustic guitar anyway so i'm just going to do a a little test and you see right now it's on about eh, not 10 or i mean an 8 7 8 30 7 30 no 3 4 35 about it's on it's at about five o'clock the way that you measure the i mean you, you can tell what it's on you really can't tell what your volume is on on these settings so they go by one o'clock you know or 12 o'clock at the top and one two three four five so it's about on the gain three 34 and I may have to tweak it up some as I get into the test here. And so we'll uh we'll stop and get back on the um video and and see the next part when I do the switch over from uh Persona 68C to the SSL2 to see which gain I like better. The reason I got the Personas was this has four inputs. SSL2 only has two. And so I was running a mic and an amp in the front inputs here on the Personas and then on the back, I was running an extra uh, mic for whatever other instrument I wanted to use. So but I knew I knew when I got the RV the RE20 the EV RE20 that it needs a lot of gain but I don't think it needs a cloud lifter at least from the reviews and I've been reading on it but uh this test will tell me what the gain settings need to be in comparison and if I can get if I can if I can you know use less gain for the same input on this mic I may be sending the personas back and just doing without that those extra inputs we'll see we'll see how it goes I mean I really like the SSL too and it's got good reviews. Both of those audio interfaces have got great reviews. And uh, so are these so have these headphones, by the way. They're the Bayer Dynamic DT seven seventies. So we're going to and I apologize for the I may have the volume a little bit too loud on my microphone because I just seen it clipping. And um, I apologize for that if that happens. I'll fix it in post. All right, so we're going to we're going to stop it here and continue on with my test and uh, we'll get back with you guys soon. Okay. Hello again, folks. Now I'm ready to do the second part of the test with the SSL2 now connected and the gain in approximately the same position and going through logic 
and we'll see what I need. This is a this is a non-scientific test, by the way. So I'm gonna just listen mainly by ear and and see what uh, see what's going on with in logic on the uh, waveform size of the waveform between the two and may switch back to the SSL2 if I don't need as much gain but we'll see it may, may need the same amount because I think it's about on the same about the same position as my it was on as I had on the personas and we're just going to go from here and and see Well, the results of my unscientific test are, I don't know, it's, it was hard to decide. The, um, this one here is the personas, and this one under it is the SSL2. And my unscientific method and my untrained audio ears. Now, they're actually probably more trained than my unscientific mind as far as listening and detecting which is different. There may be a real subtle difference between the Persona 68C and the SSL2 as far as gain and tone. The Personas has a slightly, I don't know how to describe it, the tone may be a little crisper, a teeny tiny bit, but that may have to do with loudness also with the gain. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, my unscientific way of doing this you can see the gain there on my SSL2 and on my Personas the gain was there you can see so pretty pretty similar pretty much in the same spot so the preamps on both are really good for doing without a cloud lifter on the um, RV RE20 mic which I really like the tone of that mic so I don't know if I'm I really like having the extra inputs on the Persona 68C. Um, so I may keep it and either sell the SSL2 or keep it for, um, I don't know, maybe keep it for a standby. I mean, it's a great audio interface, without a doubt. In my view, better than the I started out with the uh, Focusrite 2i2 3rd Gen, which was a nice little audio interface. It did me well. And then I, I, I thought I decided that I needed a little bit more of an upgrade. So I went with this one. And I've loved it. It's been fantastic. This one, I bought this one used. And the, my Personas, I bought brand new. And, um, it's a great interface too, really just super, super, super great. As far as preamps, they, they, like I said a minute ago, they're both, they both have really great preamps, no doubt about that. And I don't think the RE20 is, is a bad mic for gain, uh, needing extra if you, you know, know how to work with your gain and your, if you've got good preamps, in your audio interfaces, your gain should be good. You should have enough gain to 
push that. That's a great mic. Probably the best one I've had so far. Okay, I'm going to vacate this little chest. And uh, that's my old gigging Martin that I've used for years and years. And I had the, some work done on it. And it's got a real, real nice sound now. It's just needed up. It needed main, maintenance on it, and I, I had some work done on it. I, I mentioned that I think in my last video. Okay, guys, we're gonna we're gonna end it here, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Be well. Peace out, and long live rock and roll. Yeah.